What's up YouTube? We're back in the garage today. We are working on my cheap Jeep project. Uh, and today we are gonna be working on these fenders right here. Uh, I got a nice set of these from a place called Mountain Vista Fabrication. Uh, these guys make stuff specifically for Grand Cherokees. Uh, and today we are gonna go ahead and install the passenger side fender to match the driver's side. Uh, let me give you a closer look real quick at these. So here you go, now you can get a little bit better look at exactly what these tube fenders, flat fenders, whatever you want to call them, uh, do for these Grand Cherokees here. By installing these, you're going to gain a lot more clearance, especially when you're running larger tires or when you're on a trail flexing out, you know, over rocks or other obstacles like that. Uh, the installation is pretty straightforward. They use your existing fender bolt onto that. You do have to modify uh, the fender itself. You have to cut away a little bit of the original fender here. You're also going to have to remove your inner fender liners, uh, which on this truck were already done. You'll see that on the other side as well. Uh, and then once installed, they use these nice Allen head bolts that you can see here, uh, which are going to come in handy in case we ever need to pull these back off again uh, for painting purposes or anything else, which if you take a look over here, I'm definitely going to have to do at some point because of my awesome painting skills that you see there. But uh, so we're going to head over today to this side and take care of the insulation on this side so that it will look just like the other side. So let's get started. All right, so here we have our new fender brackets and included hardware. And then step one, get the truck, take this little piece of uh, cladding from down here, just get rid of that. And then you see, I went ahead and marked out roughly where I'm gonna cut. And pretty much you're just gonna follow the step out in the body line all the way around. Now on the other side of the truck, I actually didn't even mark this. I just kind of went freehand with the saw. You can actually see it's not marked very well. Uh, all of this is gonna be hidden by the new fender itself. The only thing that I do recommend is as you get down into this section here, you wanna step out a little bit wider than where that body line would fall. And you wanna end outside of this lower pin to make sure that you have clearance for the fender to get into this area. And then also once you've done your cuts, you're gonna knock this little pin off as well, just to make sure that everything sits straight. Now. I'm going to be cutting this right here on the truck. I'm going to be using this handy little air saw. You could probably do this with a die grinder. You could also probably take the fender off and maybe even cut it by hand or something else if you had to. Um, but air saw is going to make sure work of this. So let's go ahead and knock that out. All right, so now that our cutting is done, you can really see exactly how much more clearance you get in your fender. You can kind of get the difference here, an idea. But now this is all garbage. We're gonna throw that away. Uh, this next part you can probably do on your own. 
I highly recommend you get yourself a Carmen to help you. Uh, I made sure that I got myself a Carmen to help me. Hi, Carmen. Um, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda hold the fender up in place, mark probably just one bolt hole, get that bolt in, go for the other corner, put another bolt hole in, and then kinda work our way around the rest of the pattern. So now we've got the fender in place and we've got all of our perimeter cap screws in place holding this in where we want it. And now we're going to add our inner supports. So there's going to be one over here that holds the front in place and there's going to be one back here that holds the back in place. And that's going to be these guys right here. So. We'll start with our front bracket and you can see they've got a uh, captive nut welded in place. This side has a cutout or a notch in it that fits around the inside of this tube right in here which you can maybe see kind of overhangs. Maybe not. It's kind of dark in there. But the bracket itself is going to slide up into place just like so. Which is actually more difficult than I expected to do while holding the camera and the bracket at the same time. Uh, but something like that, once it's in place, I am gonna have to drill two holes into the truck back on this side where they will bolt through into the engine compartment. Uh, and it's gonna be a similar process for the rear bracket I'll show you that one in just a second. Let me get this one kind of lined up and in place first. So, minor setback. This bracket here looks like it's the same as the one for the driver's side, which means it actually does not fit in here where it needs to fit. It would fit on the other side of the truck, but not on this one. So I'm gonna actually have to reach out to Mountain Vista and see if I can get a replacement bracket. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to send one out to me. Uh, I've always had really good experience with these guys as far as their customer service goes, but uh, for now, I'm just gonna have to skip this bracket. But what would have happened is it would have bolted into here, two of these cap head screws going onto the outside and then two holes being drilled into the inner structure of the truck in here. Uh, so we'll go to the other side. That piece I already checked and it looks like it is going to fit correctly. It is the mirror opposite piece of what fits on the driver's side. So we'll get that one in place and at least I'll have the support on the back side of the fender until I get the support on the front side of the fender. And fortunately, the passenger side, I believe, is less likely to need that extra bit of reinforcement, at least temporarily. So, we'll move to the back.
All right, so it took a little bit of finagling, but I was able to get these three bolts in place which is gonna hold this inner fender liner piece in there for me. Now I'm gonna take care of these two holes here and here on this bracket that are gonna actually bolt this to the body of the truck. Um, depending on how exactly accurate you wanna be with these, you may wanna mark the holes, pull the fender off, and then get a drill in there. I'm actually just gonna run the drill straight through these holes here without pulling anything out of the way. Uh, for the way I've been building this project truck, I feel like that's perfectly acceptable. Uh, what I am going to do first though, is we're going to come around and pop the hood. And we're going to look at where those bolts are coming through and make sure we're not going to hit anything vital with that drill bit. Last thing I want to do is end up destroying a wire harness or puncturing a hole in this radiator overflow bottle here. So it looks like it's going to be right down in there somewhere. I'm going to get myself a little light and just take a look at exactly where that's going to land before I go ahead and run the drill through. But you can start to see here what our finished product's going to be. Like I said, I'm obviously still gonna need that front bracket right there. Um, and then that's gonna be the same thing. Once that's bolted in right here, I'm gonna come to the inside, check where the bolts are gonna come through. I'll drill through the bracket this way, put my bolts in so that everything's held together nice and solid. Uh, and then that'll be it for the project. That's gonna be our Mountain Vista Fabrication flat wide front fender install. So that's going to do it for our fender installation. Uh, I do want to say a big thank you to Mountain Vista Fabrication. They've made an awesome set of fenders for these trucks along with like a million other parts. If you guys have a Grand Cherokee like these, I do recommend you check them out. I'm going to put a link in the video description to those guys, to these fenders specifically. Uh, you're also going to see some links down there for a lot of the other parts that are on this truck, light bars, wheel spacers, a whole bunch of other nonsense. So if you're interested in any of that, check it out. Uh, please do make sure if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. There's going to be a lot more content with all kinds of different stuff. You know, I do like the exotic cars, but I'm also going to do more wheeling videos with this truck, with my buddies when we go out. So there'll be some more of that content coming up. Uh, click like hit subscribe, leave me a comment, all the YouTube stuff that you're supposed to do. You already know the rules. I don't have to tell you every time, but thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate every single one of you that tunes in, watches these videos. It means a lot to me. Um, but same as we always say, guys, until we see you next time, make sure to keep a full tank. He said, stop. Stop. <laughs>